Today is National Personal Safety Day, an annual event aimed at highlighting the simple and practical ways you can keep yourself safe. NBC 25's Ilse Lujan Hayes joins us live from Grand Blanc Township with a story. Good morning, Ilse. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, everyone. Now, right now, we're inside of the lobby of the Grand Blanc Township Police Department. And you know, this year's theme is door to door. And if you're at home making breakfast, getting dressed this morning, turn up the volume. You might hear something during this segment that could potentially save your life and keep your family safe. Now, right now, joining us is Sergeant Scott Thede. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Now, let's tell folks at home, we're, we're actually going to break up these segments, but right now we're going to focus on um, door to door safety. What would you like folks to know? about that some helpful tips well the biggest thing is people need to be vigilant uh, when you are going from point a to point b if you can have a buddy with you find somebody to walk with you if you can't do that then you need to have your cell phone handy uh, just in case something comes up keep looking around know your environment now it sounds simple right makes it, it sounds like common sense things but a lot of times people forget I mean if it's dark and um, you're heading out to a parking lot and if you can ask a coworker, why not ask them to walk out any other tips you can think of door to door well again one of the biggest things like I said is, is look at your surroundings mm -hmm. if you are a female or even a male walking to a car have your keys out mm -hmm. so you're not getting there and digging in your pockets or digging in your purse to try to find those and if you do see something that seems suspicious or out of the ordinary, call, mm -hmm. call okay. for help. All right, thank you so much. In fact, the key thing, I do that. When I walk out to my car, I have the key in my hands and that allows me to kind of look around. Mm -hmm. And so that, very important to be vigilant, as you say. Yes. Okay, thank you, Officer Scott mm -hmm. Thede. Now you're gonna be joining us in the next segment. Coming up, we're going to go from outside safety to indoor safety. Um, he will join us once again and we'll have more tips for you coming up. For now, we're live in Grand Blanc Township. It Luhan Hayes, NBC 25. Today is National Personal Safety Day, an annual event aimed at highlighting the simple, practical ways that you can keep safe at your home. Definitely very important. NBC 25's Ilse Luan Haynes joins us from Grand Lake Township with more. Good morning, Ilse. Good morning, everyone. Well, right now we're inside the lobby of the Grand Blanc Township Police Department and joining me once again is Sergeant Scott Thede. He's going to actually go over some safety tips. We're moving from the outside safety to um, indoor safety. Good morning. Now let's get right to it. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that could really help families. Um, what are some tips on uh, reminders that people can stay safe at home. One of the biggest things is, is just keep your doors and your windows locked, uh, whether that's your vehicle or your house. Um, when it comes to our car larcenies, most of those that we have are unlocked cars and you've got to take some responsibility yeah. yourself. Now, you know, I want to mention some, I'm really, when I'm at home, I will admit, I'm originally from the West Coast and I notice a difference. Like people here in the Midwest, they're a lot more relaxed and I notice they leave, they do, they tend to leave their doors unlocked. Do you find that to be true? A lot of times we do. And like I said, people have to take some initiative themselves to protect what they have and uh, keeping doors locked. It's important. Okay, let's move to the next one. Doors locked, lights. Let's talk about how important it is. Yes, you've got to have some outside lighting at night, whether it's motion lights or just lights that are left on, because mm -hmm. uh, that is a great deterrent for people coming up to your house. Right, like I don't try to save electricity when it comes to the outdoor lights. Turn them on, because it might it decrease the likelihood of someone breaking in, basically. Definitely. Okay, reminders to children. Well, don't go and answer the door. Mm -hmm. Parents have got to talk to their kids about that. Uh, going up if mom you know is up in the shower or you know on the phone mm -hmm. they can't be going to the door and just opening it right. parents have exactly. to talk to their kids okay and very last thing code word something that you should that you mentioned to me and I told you I do give my kids a code word why is that important so that way your children know that if somebody comes up and says hey you've got to come with me your mom's been in an accident mm -hmm. they can ask for that code word and if they don't know it the kid don't go. Okay, thank you so much. Sergeant Scott Thede with Grand Blanc Township Police Department. Now coming up, we're going to actually go over some defense weapons. For now, we're live in Grand Blanc Township. Ilse Luhan Hayes, back to you guys in the studio. That's right. Good morning, guys. Now, right now, we're going over defense weapons. Joining me once again is Sergeant Scott Thede with the Grand Blanc Township Police Department. Good morning. Let's go right to it. One, a tool, a key. It can be something as simple as your keys. You want to put them between your fingers. You still have your ignition key ready to go, but you've got to uh, something there to help you. Now, Sergeant, I would normally hold my key like this and you say no. No, if you take these extra keys and get them between your fingers, mm -hmm. you've got something there that if something 
comes up, you've got something to use to okay. help protect your All right, that's a valuable tip. Let's talk about these items here that I'm holding very quickly. What are we looking at? Pepper spray. You can get this at any store. This is great, but you got to have it with you. You've got to have it available, and you have to practice with it. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to have you practice a little bit. Very with quickly, I'm going to spray, spray the pepper spray. I'm going to do this guy back here. I'm going to shoot him in the eye, you said, yes. and hold it. Here we go. All right, there that you go. Like Thank said, you so much. Appreciate you spending time with us. For now, we're gra live in Grand Blanc Township. Back to you guys in the studio. Good information. I think people forget about pepper spray sometimes. Good thing, for, especially yeah. for women, perhaps, uh -huh. to have in their purse just in case. And good way to hold those keys.